All right, well, this is it. <laughs> um, final, final game of the season for us. Pretty exciting. Yeah, let's do it. So, what are you what are you thinking for the opener here? It's like captured Nazi scientists. Yeah, I think that's probably our best headline. Um, what are you thinking for the starting influence also? Just standard 442 or since we hold the goal, do you want to try something like 3322? I mean, actually, four four two two. Since we're holding the goal, seems pretty good. Yeah, four Italy, four West Germany. All right, lock it in. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so they're probably going to run into Thailand on AR1 here, if I had to make a guess. If they go Laos, Cambodia too, are you thinking about something like cooing with Truman? Or maybe just spread into Lebanon and Afghanistan or something like that? Um, well, let's see what they do first. Yeah, I haven't uh, I haven't played a Twilight Struggle game in like uh, probably over a month, <laughs> so I'm really rusty. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been playing too much either, except for the async game I still have going. Yeah, we should uh, we should get another async game going. It's been a while since we uh, since we played one of those. But uh, yeah, no, my game's been uh, my game's been on a decline lately. <laughs> Yeah, I got one more in the RATS league. Yeah, I'm doing uh, that like Pacific Coast League. Um, so I'm doing pretty well in that. I'm probably going to end up making the playoffs, but uh, um, it's kind of a weird league because a lot of like good players aren't in it. Like Max isn't in it. Um, Tavaro isn't in it. Okay, so I'm imagining two, two Thailand, one Laos, Cambodia. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting that they put two in Thailand. If we go into Pakistan and they coup Pakistan, so so if we go into Pakistan, they might be afraid of cooing Pakistan because then we get the last coup on Thailand. Yeah, um, I think I think we should step into Pakistan. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Um, you know, are you? I'm kind of thinking maybe Olympic Games, one Lebanon, one Pak. Or do you see anything better? Is cooing Laos Cambodia doesn't block the domination even if we succeed. I don't like Lebanon. You don't like Lebanon? No. I definitely think the um I, I kind of like it because uh, it threatens a presenceless domination if they don't do anything about it. Well, we would have headlined Middle East scoring if we had that. That's true. Would make more sense to go one Pakistan to Egypt, hmm. or we could just use. Um. I do like the two Egypt. The only concern I have is we do kind of deplete our hand of high ops cards. We could go one Pakistan, one Malaysia. I don't, I don't really like one Malaysia. I feel like they already have Thailand. Um, We're just going to Pakistan is another way to do it. Yeah, then we're... Hmm, it's an interesting idea. I, I kind of like... Uh, so if we're going to be burning... 
Um, so I'm assuming that's we use a two op group, put two in Pakistan, right? Was your idea? Or you could just use Truman and put one there. Hmm. I kind of like Truman to save that for a Laos Cambodia coup later if we want to do that, just for some quick mill ops. I kind of I kind of like leaving that option open to us, you know. Um. Hmm. I still kind of like the the one Lebanon. I feel like it's important we get out of Israel. Um, so if you want to burn a three off and go two Egypt one pack, I can get behind that. Okay, let's do that. I guess EU right rather than NORAD. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Look good. Yeah. Cool. I don't see what's good about Kuing Laos. They've got the Vietnam revolts bonus in Southeast Asia. I really don't like that at all. Yeah, the idea is it kind of shuts down their path into Burma, India, uh, and gets us like it makes it easier for us to fight the country count. So, but if we get into a coup war there, I agree we're at a disadvantage. But if they coup us back, I mean that's an action round. They're not spending doing other bad things, so it's not you know terrible, I guess. I'm a little worried about a coup of Italy here, because good teams have shown Italy coups in these sort of spots. I guess we'll see kind of what they have prepared. Ah, there we go. So, really smart move, Kevin, on the two Egypt. That was good. <laughs> um, all right, so now, now what are you thinking? Well, I guess we got to take Libya. Yeah, I agree. I, I mean, do you just want to burn a two op for that? Like Olympic or Formosian? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to do Olympic to Libya. Look good? Yeah. Cool. I'm wanting to get the Gaul out of our hand pretty soon. We'll see if uh, if they give us an empty action round, like where they just make a nothing move, I guess, like space. And I think that's kind of high on our priority list, right? Could think about holding the D stall until turn three. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, we can play De Gaul next AR probably. Probably don't have e Europe because they probably would have scored it by this point rather than play Nasser. So Europe's unlikely. I guess it's possible they still have the Middle East scoring. But now they're definitely not dominating us unless they get a good coup off of two battlegrounds to their zero. So it'd take a lot. Oh, they do have Europe. Okay. So we weren't going to get Europe anyway. Um, so, I kind of like, so we can consider stepping into India. Just let the, the Gaul event go off and then put three in France. Yeah, I, yeah, this is an empty action round. We are waiting for an opportunity like this, so I guess let's just do it, right? Yeah, there you go. Now we need to think about mill ops. got to get mill ops though um, in the next one or two action rounds. We can't wait till the last action round for mill ops. So I feel like we have to get Lebanon by the end of the turn for domination. So... 
Yeah, there's some stuff to do. It would be nice to fill up France also. Yeah, France is better than Lebanon. And having one, having India and Pakistan is better than putting one in Lebanon too. I mean, I mean, it is the domination. I mean, at the moment we are dominating them. So it's, I, know, I, I like the Lebanon. Um, I mean, towards the end of the turn, you know, well, I guess. And it just point, gives them a good coup target. Yeah, I mean, if they're cooing Lebanon, it's kind of a waste of an action round for them because they're not, like, doing things like going into South Korea, so... They need know, mill kind ops. Of, I mean, yeah, but we need mill ops, too, and I'm trying to think where we get them. Like, Laos, Cambodia is looking more tempting by the action round for me, honestly. <laughs> Laos, Cambodia is no good because they have Vietnam event going. They can just coo it right back and get... A better coup than we got well yeah but the point is we need mill ops so we gotta coup something and if we drop the defcon down to four they get a very just easy coup on pakistan um right now they're not going to be lowering the defcon because then we the assumption is we're going to coup thailand they probably don't want to lose thailand um but i think getting into india here on the next action round is really important like i'm thinking one pack one india with formosian yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. So it makes more sense to coup Syria than it does to coup Laos. Yeah. So okay, so they're setting up for a Pakistan coup here by putting one in Thailand. Um, I'm so. Well, I still think that we have to go Pakistan India, right? I, we have to get into India because if they coup and succeed in Pakistan, at least we get one battleground. Um, yeah, one yeah. Pakistan, one India. That sounds good. Yeah, stick to the plan. Okay. Well, actually, um, I think it would be even better to go just use the three and put the third one in France. I kind of like saving the three in NORAD if they coup Pakistan and get a weak coup so we can coup it back. So I kind of like keeping the three in our hand doesn't make very much sense to leave France open. Uh, I mean, I, I get what you're saying, but I, I feel like that op is just so much better in Asia right now. Like, Asia is the big problem. Um, okay, I think we have a Pakistan coup coming on the next action round, so I feel like putting that extra one in pack just really helps us. I mean, do you think it's more valuable in France or Pakistan? Because I assume you're still thinking put the one in India, right? Well, I guess we don't have to put one in India. We could just go one Pakistan, one France. I really don't like that. Because then we're giving up India. And I really want to keep some presence in one of those two countries if they coup and succeed in Pakistan. Okay. So I think India, okay, I yeah, think India go, is a must. Yeah, go one India, one Pakistan, one France. Then I like that. Yeah, but, I mean, mill ops become a huge problem then. Like, I, I think the three from Norad have to be a coup. I don't, I don't think we really have a choice there, because otherwise we're giving up mill ops points. We're so late in the turn now that we need... We need a big coup to get our mill ops points. <laughs> and they're thinking the same thing, which is why they're getting ready for the pack coup. I really, I really like saving the NORAD for a coup somewhere. Um, One mill op point isn't as important as taking France. Well, yeah, I. There are there are cards we could draw that would help us in France. So like we could draw, um, special. We could draw, uh, Marshall. I mean Marshall's still a really good headline here, um, but. So it might be a wasted point. And, and so, actually, but Defectors is seen, so Defectors, we can't block them on the next turn. That it, it promotes putting Ops in France. Um, I mean, are you thinking that Asia is already lost, Kevin? And, and you'd rather put the Ops in Europe than, than Asia? Because I can, I can totally see that. Um, actually, I really, that, that's actually, a, I think, a really good idea. Because they already have such a huge lead in Asia right now. So, all right, you want to go one France, one India then? No, I want to go one India, one Pakistan, one France with the NORAD. 
I, hmm. I mean, we can... Okay, so let's say they coup down to four, and then we counter coup with Formosion to get down to three. I guess we only lose one point. Okay, all right. I so you wanna you wanna do this? Yep. Okay. They could I still potentially flip it if they had line socialist governments or Suez crisis and then jam four into France at the beginning of turn two, but... Yeah, I guess the big idea also is they are very far ahead in Asia and we're very far behind, so we want to lock up Europe more because that's a region that helped, that we're strong in even though it's already scored. So I can, I can definitely see it. Yeah, it's hard to justify them headlining... Suez or socialist and then jamming four into France when the scorecard's already gone, but if it was if it was just wide open when we still play the Truman Doctrine if we play the Truman Doctrine and the France is still open then it makes a lot of sense for them to just go ahead and dump a bunch of ops in there then they won't even need the headline I think I'm back. I got disconnected for a minute there. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Yeah, my internet connection went down. I guess I haven't done anything yet, huh? Yeah, no. I think we're looking pretty good here, man. Um, I'm curious what's going to happen, because they're probably debating the Pakistan coup pretty, pretty hardly. Pretty harshly. <laughs> okay, so oh, it's not going to be a coup. Wow. Okay, so hmm, this is bad for us because now we're in serious mill op trouble. Well, we can coup something right now. Yeah, but we only so we need five, and we can only get two. If we coup with Formosion, then we're left with a one-op for the last action round, which is really ugly. And we can Formosion coup Laos, Cambodia. I really don't want to drop the DEFCON to four, because I just think it makes the Pakistan coup obvious, right? We mill ops. We need mill ops. There's no question in my mind about that. Um... Hmm. So, are they going to coup Pakistan on AR6, do you think? Um, 
It is a tough decision what to coup here. So I'm just trying to think, is a Pakistan coup guaranteed on AR6? On AR6, the DEF CON drops to four. Could coup um, Thailand or Egypt. Yeah, so our game plan all the way up until this point has been trying to avoid getting cooed in Pakistan. Um, is that still valid? Is really the biggest question in my mind. In my mind. Well, we got a coup somewhere right now, so we just have to think of the yeah. best target. I really like Laos, Cambodia over a over a battleground. Um, because that blocks the Asia domination, then it becomes three to three. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and cool Laos with it. Oh my God! Of course we roll a one. Yeah, that's bad. That's really frustrating. <laughs> Now the kind of annoying thing is we're left with a one-up. <laughs> so if we want to do a counter coup of Pakistan, we can't really do it. We can try it, but it's going to be, you know, like a big luck roll if we want to. I mean, I just don't think that's very good. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'm glad they rolled a one and not us. <laughs> Um, that's really pleasant, actually. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. That changes things, right? Um, so now, what are you, what are you thinking? He uses Truman to coup. I don't know, Egypt is okay. Thailand is okay. No, I really don't. So, I'm trying to think, is it a problem if the DEF CON goes up to five? Because uh, then we get back into the same situation where they're going to be really afraid to coup Pakistan. Um, because if we if we drop the DEF CON to three, they just have a... Um, unless we draw a miracle in Dopak war, they just have a blatantly obvious Pakistan coup. And it's one in Pakistan. Coup. So it's Vietnam. almost guaranteed to lose it. Oh, sorry, I didn't catch what you said. Could coup Vietnam here with uh, Truman. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking about. Um, yeah, go it, ahead. That's, that sounds fine. I mean, it's a, it's a one out of three to fail. I don't... You could also just put one in Pakistan and avoid the... And just give up the one V... Or give up the one VP in exchange for getting the two in Pakistan. That's a, that's a thought also. Or we can coup Vietnam, get the one VP and help the country count. If they draw, um, here's another consideration, Kevin. If they draw a decal, a Vietnam coup is is meaningless, right? Because then they get country count anyway. Whereas we go Pakistan, decal doesn't affect domination. You kind of do you see what I'm saying? Say if they headline decal on turn two. If we coup Vietnam, then that's a bad decision, I feel like, because the decal gets some domination back. Whereas if we go Pakistan, decal has no effect on Asia domination. Yeah, we could, just, make... we could just put one op into Pakistan. Yeah. Well, I don't really it does cost either. us one VP, though, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I'm, I'm alright with that. Just putting one up into Pakistan. That's probably okay. fine. 
Cool. All right, lock that in. Or do you... Um, was, yeah, Vietnam Q is very tempting. I'm not going to lie. The Vietnam Q is very tempting. <laughs> this, this, this is good. Okay. Hopefully we draw no pack war. Hey, there we go. There's some good stuff here. I like this. I like this. No socialist governments, unfortunately, but this is a workable hand. If we get purge, though, we have a serious problem. Um, if they have purge and blockade, we're in serious trouble. Holding both of the D cards. At that point, we have to give up D call, I think. Or we just drop. We, we would drop West Germany in that scenario. Um, yeah. What are you thinking for the for the headline, Kevin? Kind of kind of struggling for a headline with this hand, right? <laughs> yeah, we don't have too many good options. Good headline CIA, I guess. Yeah, I'm liking the CIA headline a lot, actually. Because that tells us they have the purge blockade combo. Yeah, I'm cool with the CIA. I mean, nuclear test ban is also worth, I think, three VPs. But that's... Turn one, that's just such a bad idea, right? <laughs> I don't think that we can seriously consider that. Okay, do you want to go CIA then? I guess that's really our only blue card that's headlineable. I mean, Duck is not headlineable. You could headline Romanian, but that just seems to keep CIA in the deck, but I don't really like that. Yeah, I think CIA is okay. Shit. Okay, well, we're about to find out if they have blockade. Shit! Ah, oh, shit. That sucks. That really, really sucks. Okay. Okay. So, now we have to... So we're going to be dropping West Germany. Um, but we have a nuclear test ban. We can walk back in. Um, it looks like they're not going to be eventing SOPGOVs, right? So what are you thinking for the CIA up? Could put one in Malaysia, we could coup Vietnam. I think they're gonna vent SOC govs on us. After after they block do you think they're gonna just blockade us on AR1? If they're just gonna blockade us on AR1, what if we overprotect France? Kind of like coup in Vietnam with this one up. I don't think France really makes any sense. So if they event the blockade Air 1, we remove West Germany, we jam 3 into West Germany, then they event the blockade. I guess eventing the sock govs isn't really is is ops neutral for them. I mean, I, yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. Since they have Asia scoring, I think fighting in Asia is our best bet. So I kind of agree with you there. Um. Yeah. Coup Vietnam looks good. Okay. Or we could also go Indonesia, which has kind of the same effect. Nah. That doesn't give us. It doesn't give us mil ops. Thailand. It doesn't give us mil ops. Yeah. Okay, go cool. coup Vietnam then. Yeah, that looks good. Hey, hey, okay. We're all six. I like it. I like it. It's possible to stop Asia domination. They might not be able to get it. Even though we're purged, I think we have a decent chance to stop the Asia dominate Asia getting scored for domination for them. Yeah, especially after that six roll, they're not counter cooing that. I don't think they're gonna probably coup pack right, but they don't have a high op card for the pack coup other than China card. That'd be interesting. We're, we're, we're good on country count right now. That's the great thing. We're really good on country count. And we have Romanian for a very easy secondary coup if they go Indonesia or Laos, Cambodia. If they GM India, obviously we have Indo-Pak War, so we can defend it. Um, so I'm feeling, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. 
Can you put the decal and the D stall on the right side? Yeah. Thanks. I guess it's possible we could end up inventing the Indo Pak War. Oh, yeah, for sure, if they run into India. Yeah, if they got Indo Pak War, then we're in just miserable shape. Indo Pak War could end up being a pretty good card. It's four to two right now on country count, so they're really struggling on the Asia country count. <clears throat> yeah, we would have really struggled. If we had crewed Vietnam in the last turn, we wouldn't have really known what to do with that one op from CIA anyway. I think but what into Malaysia was okay yeah. too. Um, yeah. Philippines or Indonesia was good also. I don't like Indonesia at all. Yeah, like Philippines, I guess. I mean, country count is the how we fight Asia at this point. If they run into South Korea, we can't do anything about that. If you take Indonesia when the DEFCON is still four or five, then they can just coup it. If DEFCON gets knocked down to three, then it then all of a sudden it makes a lot more sense to step in the Indonesia. Oh, I don't know if I uh, I asked earlier, Kevin. Are we streaming this game? Yeah, it's on a thirty minute delay. Okay, cool. Also, some of these battlegrounds are going to be pretty high priority right now, like South Korea. They have Korean War in their hand, but we already have Japan, so if we could put two into South Korea on our next AR, that would be nice. We're also way behind on time. Yeah, I mean, these are really important turns, so if there was ever a time to think, I think it's probably now, so I'm, I guess I'm not too annoyed if the time dips a little low here. This hand right here kind of plays itself. We should be able to knock this one out pretty quick. Yeah. We got a hold, decal, space, D stall, and then just play the rest of it normally. Yeah, so when they hit us with the blockade, obviously we just have to dump West Germany. And then what are you thinking? Nuclear test ban back in? Yeah, that's basically what's going to have to happen is uh, we're just going to have to dump it and then step back in with something. Putting two in South Korea. If they step into South Korea right now, we could still think about fighting over it. Even if, even if they go like to South Korea, I guess. Honestly, I fully expect the blockade here. Um, oh, okay. Okay, so do they have a four up in their hand? I don't think they do. No, they have socialist governments and containment. Are there two highest cards? Okay, so I think we want to keep fighting the country count here in Asia. It's interesting that they would take, they would step one into India. We could place ops into India now, we could space now. Yeah, I mean, we can nuclear test ban into India. But then we're weak, you know, we can only put two in West Germany with the duck and cover. It's possible they're trying to save Sock Ghost for turn three. Um, just, po it's possible. 
So we could still, because Marshall plans out there. If we draw Marshall, no matter what, it's got to be an instant headline for us. I'm cool with just spacing here. I mean, could step into Indy, I suppose. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, there's really two plays that are in the top of my mind here. Nuclear I mean, test ban into India. I kind of like that, that, actually. Yeah, that or Romanian into Philippines. To keep fighting country count. Um, there is a risk they play containment. But, you know, there's zero chance they play containment before blockading us. So I think, yeah, I kind of like just taking the India, man. That's such a key country for us right now. Yeah, I'm cool with that. It does only put two in West Germany, so if they opt for us, it could get ugly. But with no four ops in their hand, it gets tough for them to win that. This is good. This is good. Okay. All right, so there's no way that they get India now, or they get Asia now. I think Asia is completely locked up for us. Okay, so now now we space the D-style, right? Yeah, go ahead. Nice. We could still think about eventing the Indo pack. Well, not right now, though. Yeah, do not discard, right? Right, and then we can just put ops back in there. Yep, two back in. Yeah, that looks good. We gotta think about mill ops also. That's on my mind. Yeah, eventing the Indo Pack War for the Mill Ops is the best way to get them. Yeah, we could event it on India. Or we could coup Thailand. It's interesting, Taiwan open. We can actually step into Taiwan. And we have China cards. We could jam North Korea to tap North Korea. Yeah, even tapping North Korea is a domination. So we have paths to get Asia domination here. Well, they already played the scorecard. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. Um, oh, they are going to vent sock govs. I was worried about this. Okay, so two back into West Germany, right, with Comic Con? Well, they have special relationship in their hand. Yeah, Germany gets really weak. So what does the rest of their hand look like? Is it only two ops now? They have special relationship, containment, Fidel, and Korean War. I mean, they could just jam containment into West Germany. I don't really... Is a one-op in France really worth it? For the special, I, I think it's just so much better in West Germany. Yeah, I mean, we could give them the free special relationship. Because I'm really worried about a containment jam into West Germany. I mean, we could also do something like event the IP war now because Indo Pak war and Romanian are not helped by containment if they play containment, but Comic Con is. So if we find a way to save Comic Con to AR, um, to AR six, then we get a free containment op. What do you want to use uh, Romanian to put one in West Germany? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that sounds fine. Marshall would be such an incredible card for us right now. I'm expecting a Middle East coup coming up. Neither one of us is going to have enough ops to 
Oh yeah, you're right. They haven't. They don't have a non-battleground. What? There's no non-battlegrounds in Middle East, so it's going to take them a minimum of two action rounds to get Middle East domination. I mean, unless they spend a four op, Saudi Arabia, Syria, but we know that they don't have that. I think we I think we played turns one and two really well, man. I'm really I'm really happy with how we played that. And uh, you know, we do have the China card coup of Thailand as an option if we want to take it. Right, so they're gonna coup probably Whoa, Vietnam. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so we can Comic Con into West Germany. We can event the Indo Pac war for Melops. I I I'm cool with eventing the indo pac war here, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it opens us up to the pac coup. Do you think they'll take it? I mean, what's their hand looking like now? Oh, so they could containment coup Pakistan. I'm a little worried about that. Yeah, I'm a little worried about a containment coup on Pakistan, so... I know we lose an op, but do you want to just do Comic-Con now into West Germany? I like the indo pac then... war events here. I really, I really don't like that because if um, the if they hit us with a coup fired. in Pakistan, AR AR six and containment, I'd like to keep Indo Pak in our hand to to fight against that. If they if they play containment AR six, it's very possible we see a coup of Pakistan. Are you are you hard committed to the uh, to the Indo Pac now? Um. No, we can play it the other way around. Um. Yeah, I mean, so the advantage is we do get the extra Comic Con up. Um, but the thing is, if we bring West Germany up to three and we draw Marshall. It doesn't matter if we have that extra op if we put it in a uh, in Germany or not, because Marshall fills up Germany and fills up UK. Even if we only have a two op, can Comic Con. Could use Comic Con to coup Thailand. Yeah, the odds of that are one out of six. Yeah, even if even on the, even on the six roll, we don't take it. So that's kind of. Yeah, but the odds of getting mill ops is a hundred percent. True. I do like eventing the Indo Pak war though. So I just I would like to event it. I'm just um, I'm a little hesitant about eventing it now. Kind of like cooing Thailand with Comic Con here. It looks pretty good. What do you want to do with it? Put it into West Germany? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, hundred percent. I'm really I really like the West Germany Comic Con. They could redraw sock govs, um, and then we just get into it. Yeah, I I think Europe's our best region. And we want to keep you know, shoring it up. The DEFCON is going to stay at five, uh, no matter what, you know, assuming we don't counter to a battleground. So we get, um... Yeah, you can put two in West line. Germany, that's all, that's all right. Yeah, just go Yeah, ahead, because go they, can't, it, they can't jam something and threaten to take it either. We're, we're way behind on time. Yeah, okay. And we just event the end of pack war now. I don't think there's anything they can do with two ops that would be devastating against us. They could tap Japan, but that would just be kind of weird. That would, they'd have to know we have a no pack war in our hand. And we're going to event it. Otherwise, we could just coup Vietnam. I'm very curious what their play here is going to be. Coup pack, maybe? Oh, coup Panama. I didn't expect that. Wow. Okay. So do you want to vent the Indo Pac war now? Yeah, go ahead. Or yeah. or what do you what Yeah, are you lock, thinking? lock it in, lock it in. Okay, cool. 
Nice, 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 nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. This is a great hand. <laughs> so what, what does their hand look like, Kevin? We've got Europe, Containment, NATO, AI War, Fidel, Cambridge 5, and Suez Crisis, and one other card. I don't think they have Europe because they played it AR1. Uh, I must have missed that card, I guess. Yeah. Okay, they have two two unknown cards. I think just lock in the Marshall, right? Because they have NATO. Uh, yeah, Marshall is good. They might have Europe. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not guaranteed, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess their most likely headline is um, Suez I mean, Crisis, Suez is just yeah. from the one the cards that we know, which is okay because. They can't really, uh... They can't do much with it. Yeah, they won't... They won't be able to, um... Take France with... The Suez Crisis headline. I'm really happy with how this game's going so far. Um, I feel like we're playing pretty well. Yeah. They still have containment. They didn't play the containment, which is interesting. Yeah, it's going pretty good. We should probably... Um, space decal and hold you an intervention and let Warsaw event go off. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It would be amazing if they gambled on us not headlining Marshall and they headline Europe, but I, there's there's got to be a 0% chance of that happening. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't headlined Suez already. I wonder what their mystery cards are that are making them thinking about that so much. I mean, I guess they could be thinking about Cambridge 5. And Cambridge 5 would be very annoying, for sure. Yeah, I mean, that, that headline's not terrible. I guess I could see that. I guess their turn 1 was terrible. They had a really bad hand. And then turn 2, their hand was pretty bad also. So they haven't had great hands so far. I'm really happy that even though they got the Vietnam headline off, we were still able to block them from getting the Asia domination. That was really good. Yeah, also, um, they didn't get their decal or destall event. Yeah, that, that was huge. So, it's going to be tough for them to expand for the mid-war. Unless they draw desalinization again. Yeah, I mean, I would imagine that Suez would just be an instant headline. I don't know what they're thinking <clears throat> about. Yeah, 
Yeah, they were thinking a long time about this. Cambridge Five, I don't know. I, I guess I mean, Cambridge Five is pretty good too. It may be Cambridge Five. I, uh, I don't know. I mean, they do have the AI war also. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Marshall Plan for us is just incredibly obvious, so there's no debate there. <laughs> Because defectors is unknown. They don't know about defectors, so they can't be planning for us to headline defectors. So it's, uh, it's a shame, man. We never got that uh, meetup we were talking about. Okay, so the expected Suez comes in. Okay. So that's all I think must, right? And where do you want the last three to go? I kind of like just hitting all the one stab countries, or two stab countries. Yeah, yeah, I like that, yeah. Yeah, when I'm not so busy, we should hang out sometime. Getting back to parody on the on the clock. Uh, what are you thinking about our hold card? UN intervention uh, should be space decal and hold UN intervention. Here comes NATO. Okay, interesting. I definitely think we want to go into the UK and France here, right? Because they could have Europe and they could have Special as their two unknown cards. So I think UK and France are forced, right? Could put uh, one in Malaysia also. Yeah, I'm thinking either Israel or Algeria, because they do have the access to Algeria, but they've never used it. Do you wanna do you wanna fight the Middle East? I I think it's gonna be tough for us. They have AI war. Yeah, I don't yeah. I, so maybe Israel's a bad idea. Um uh, I don't really like Malaysia. Um I kinda like Algeria a bit more. You want to go like two Algeria, one France? No, I'm thinking one UK, one France, one Algeria. Okay. I think UK and France are both forced because they could have special, they could have Europe. Okay, yeah, go ahead, go for that. I'll, yeah, that sounds fine. Well, I'm just thinking, like, do you see a better use of that last op than Algeria? I think I think that's I, fine. I mean, we could use defectors and just save the higher op cards, but I also kind of like trying to hold defectors. So, okay. Um, do you want to go one Algeria then? Yeah, this is fine. Okay. I don't see how we can hold defectors. We got to hold the UN intervention. Oh, China card. We get the China coup on Thailand off. Oh, I don't want to play China card with this hand. I mean, it does allow us to hold both UN and defectors. I think there is a little bit of value in that. So if we get the China opportunity to China coup Thailand, I think that's pretty good. I think it makes more sense to hold the China card here. We don't want to give it up for no reason when our hand is completely playable. Okay, so now I think we just do another three ops in Algeria, right? Okay, yeah, go for it. That's that's cool. Got to worry about mill ops too. Yep. Um, 
Kuing Vietnam looks good. I mean, I like Kuing Thailand, but I, I know you don't like it. <laughs> no, I'm fine with Kuing Thailand. Yes, oh, they did have special. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so now, now do you want to dump the Middle East? Or... Yeah, let's just play the scorecard, yeah. I like now I can space. Yeah, spacing is good, I guess. All right, so the problem now is if we give up Warsaw, they're going to block the domination. So it's one, two, three, four to one, two, three, four, five. Um. What are you thinking we do with Warsaw? Honestly, man, I still Thailand. like using China card doing Thailand. <laughs> I could use Warsaw to coup Thailand. Have we seen their unknown cards yet? They've got Special Containment, Cambridge 5, and one more card. Okay, so it is possible they have Europe scoring still. Yeah. You know, if we play Warsaw, I just get so worried they have Europe and they dump it for free. I, I would just, love to Just play it in the other order. Just, just play Defectors on AR5 and Warsaw on AR6. Yeah. Then we do lose the AR6 play though, because Warsaw is, is committed to Europe. I'd love to use AR6 to like tap North Korea or something for Asia Dom. So I, I really want to come out of this turn with Asia Dom somehow. Either tap North Korea, coup Thailand. Oh, they're giving us Truman Doctrine. Nice. Uh, check, right? Check or you go? Uh, yeah, whichever. So now it's impossible for them to have Europe, because that's their second unknown card. Right. I guess check. Uh, what did they do with that one-off? I didn't see. Malaysia? Yeah. It's yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's just, let's just coup Thailand with Warsaw. I really like so I'm just I'm just I'm just kind of seeing the math. I'm not actually gonna do this. Yeah, I don't like fifty percent at all. If they get the counter crew. Yeah, with them getting the counter crew, I don't like it now. Um Yeah, I don't know man. Defectors so if we play defectors now, they're gonna know in turn four their headline is not immune to defectors. Pan Panama is a it, decent coup target too here, actually. I don't really hate to uh, actually Panama might be a better target Pan than Thailand yeah Panama yeah I do agree Panama is a better target than Thailand um I, right with Panama. I really want to play China card because the thing is I mean they might get Nixon and Usuri next turn and that that could be problematic we might they might also get cultural so if we have an opportunity to play the China card to do a strong attack in Asia I feel like we should take it this this seems like a really good opportunity to attack Thailand also, I they play like Panama coup right now. Actually, they don't have any adjacency to it. I mean, yeah, I think Panama is a pretty good target here.
France is also not overprotected, but I guess we can handle that in Air 6. Um, yeah, I, I agree Panama is a good target, but man, that Thailand, man, that's so... That's such a valuable country, and it seems like it's just, you know, there for the taking with the China card. Like, what? It makes no so, sense so to play China to card with a hand like for? this. It's... Well, so the benefit, though, is we get to keep the cards into next turn. Like, I don't really want to give up defectors. It might be our best headline in turn four. That's pretty unlikely. Okay, um, I can see. So do you want a Warsaw coup Panama? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Lock it in. Yeah. All right. Well, four four is a good result actually, because they can't counter through that. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty great. I guess we can go like Saharan states for the Africa domination if we wanted to. But we definitely have to overprotect France. I think there's no question about that. Yeah, we could go. France and Saharan states Actually, at the end, or we could poke a country like um, North Korea, or yeah. So now I'm actually not liking the. I, I mean, so we we lose Europe domination now because they're gonna fill it up with Warsaw Pact, so we don't have the Europe domination anymore. So there is the containment. All right, so now we're committed to going back in the pet. Pakistan yeah. with defectors. Yeah, that looks good to me. This is good. Hmm. Uh, I, I feel like we really misplayed that. No, that was good. Alright, so there's the cultural. So we now we have to play the China card, but we don't get the coup on Thailand. So we have the indo pak war. I mean, I guess Sadat's our best headline here. We're in a miserable spot if they coup Pakistan and it gets up to 2-0, uh, and we're thinking, do we play China card to flip it, or do we event the indo pak war? Sorry, also, say we're that, in a miserable say spot because France never got overprotected. What, what did you say before that? Uh, if they coup Pakistan and they make it so that it's 2-0, do we event indo pak War or do we flip it with China card? We could headline indo pak War. That's a good option, actually. I don't know if we really need to play Sadat for the event here. I mean, the Middle East scoring is gone. Yeah, well, I want to event it at some point. Well, actually, they could Muslim, so there's advantage in delaying. Yeah. Right. I mean, I actually really like the headline indo pak War idea. Do you want to do that? Or we could headline how I learned to stop worrying. Bring the DEFCON down to two. Or we could put it at five. Five is interesting, because then the China card coup becomes available to us in Thailand again. And it, and they can't take France because... Um, yeah, yeah, realign. Actually, I huh, kind of like that. Really... I kind of wow, like that's that, a really actually. interesting idea, yeah. Hmm. I kind of like the how I learned and put the DEFCON at 5. Yeah, I think that's better than the indo pak war, actually. I kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to like that, actually, how I learned. I think that's a pretty good headline there. And then we can just use Sadat and Pope for regular ops. Okay. So we're committing to how I learned? Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. Ah, shit. Okay, so... I'm liking just bringing it down to two. Why? Five is better, man. Uh, oh, like you said, uh, if we're gonna play China card and then Cultural Revolution, we wanna use the China card to coup Thailand. Also, it puts them in Milot pressure, not us, if we put it at five. 
Well, I mean, they have some good coup targets, right? Pakistan is a, is a conceivable coup target. That's not as good as Thailand, though. I, I, now I hate cooing Thailand, because we're under purge. We have to roll, what, five or six? Now, now I'm really not liking the coup of Thailand. Why? It's even better now. Why? Why is it better now? Because we have to play the China card to get rid of the Free Cultural Revolution event. We do have potential to double space South African unrest and quagmire here too. That would be nice. We can't run the purge. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, just the quagmire is the only one we can space. Well, we can space cultural too. I'd rather have just play space. China Unless they card have and uh, base card. Say that again. Unless they can, they have the card that allows them to jump. We we get double space guaranteed. I'm liking just double spacing cultural and quagmire, honestly. I, I see no reason to play the China card here. Because we can get rid of the cultural revolution event for free. Yeah, but what I, I just that gives them the China card. I mean, the China card is much better for them than it is for us, so I want to keep it. Because for them, they can attack any battleground easily in Asia, whereas we can't. It's, it's much harder for us, especially under Purge. Well, it, we're, we're not going to be in Purge in later turns, but it's still very hard for us to flip these battlegrounds. Where for them, it's a bit easier. Anyway, yeah, let's I mean, put this def count at five. I man, I really, I guess how what 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 bad stuff can happen if we bring the def count down to two is really the question. Because I don't see a need to have the def count at five. If they if we get into a coup war, it's bad for us because we're under Purge. We can't really coup them back. I mean, they can coup Algeria. I don't really want to see that happen. Is, I mean, what do we counter coup with if they coup Algeria, right? Then, then we can coup Thailand with China card. No, nah, I, mean, I really dislike the China card coup of Thailand. I really just like. It's so good China now. Card. I just, it just seems like it's giving up the China card for nothing. <laughs> like, it's, we it's, got, it's we got a one third chance just to take it straight up with the rolling five or a six. Yeah, but it could, they could be under hand pressure too. So I. I the China card is much, much better for us than it is for them. Because it, it puts them under hand pressure, potentially. Um, it gives and, us a free and... cultural revolution event to get rid of that card permanently. Well, yeah, but we can just space it. Like, it's 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 not... What if we... In my opinion, it's a non-issue. Why, why space a card when we can get value from it. it i mean if well, we if we play if we if card. we play it for two ops and give up one vp and get rid of the card forever that's better than neutral significantly no, I, better but than then neutral. they get the china card and and we're going to be in a really tough spot trying to defend asia i feel like i i really like it for us because then we can launch asia attacks in turn five potentially if we draw Usuri or Nixon, well, not Nixon, but Usuri. If we draw Usuri in turn five, we don't have the China card. It's worse for us. Uh, I, well, I don't know what to tell you. We're just ten minutes behind on the clock now, so we got to do something. Yeah, I mean, there are some bad cards they could have. They could have. Um, the Angola card, Portuguese Empire crumbles. That would be really bad. Um, we bring the Defcon to two. They could have D style, although I can't really see how we fight that. I, I just really strongly do not want to give up the China card here, like really strongly. Alright, I, I guess are you are you strongly committed to wanting to do the China card play? Because I can I guess I, I wanna put the DEF CON at five here, that's what I'm saying for right now. I wanna put the okay. DEF CON at five. Right. Yeah, and I I don't think it makes any sense to space cultural revolution 
it this is a perfect opportunity to get rid of China card or I mean get rid of the cultural revolution event for the rest of the game it's a two up card and we give up one VP I mean why space that uh, yep there's your up yeah we're, we're at the end of turn three was horrendous play from us I think so what, what are you thinking of doing we can space now we can give I don't we got we can China card now Kind of like spacing, just to relieve a little pressure on our hand. I think that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I'm really thinking the China card play at the end of turn three was the play, man. And it's aggressive on us, they have to respond to it. And then we can just protect Europe and would have kept Europe dumb. Nah. It doesn't make any sense to play it on turn three because we don't have cultural revolution in our hand yet. Yeah, I see it. Why would they not have been brush war in Italy? Kind of a weird play. Huh. I would have brush warred Italy, but they had the scoring. Does, does this guarantee they have Africa scoring? I mean, <laughs> it's kind of a weird play, right? <laughs> I guess we could put a couple into South Africa here. Yeah, but with what card? <laughs> Pope. We're under purge. Oh yeah, that's right. Keep forgetting about the purge. Well, I guess if there's ever a time to do the China card play, it's got to be now because we want to free up cultural. So, do you want to coup Thailand now? Yeah, we can coup it. Okay. I rolled a one. You want to just do Pope back in to make it three to one? Yeah, that sounds good. It's not really so bad if the DEFCON just stays at three here. We don't really have any pressure to move it down to two. France wants to be overprotected and Pakistan wants one overprotection. And Mexico wants two. How many ops do we have left here? We've got one, two, three, four, five. Do you want to event the Indo Pac War now? Event it, huh? Yeah, I guess we could do that. I guess we can see I mean, it. We could also event Sadat, but then they could play Muslim, so I'd rather wait on the Sadat. I'd love to get into Israel too. But it's already scored. I mean, inventing the end of pack war seems to make the most sense to me. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Oh, the CIP war is hitting.
Yeah, there's the Africa. Actually, we could have gone into cultural to get two points, but... Do you want to event the Sadat now? Not really, I kind of want to play it for one up, actually. I don't see really anywhere one up would be good, I and mean, we could overprotect France. But I, I think it's better used as an event. Yeah, Middle East scoring is gone, and we haven't seen Muslim yet. We could just hold the Sadat, too. We don't necessarily have to play the Sadat on this turn. Yeah, I kind of like cultural. One Israel, one France. I don't really like Israel. I like Mexico more than Israel. Yeah, Defcon's at three. They can very easily coup Mexico if they want to. Yeah, they Maybe we can do. realign Cuba. I like the real lines on Cuba. Or you could just use a one up to put one in France. There, there is merit to that. I think the real lines on Cuba. I really like that. Let's see. What's the odds of removing him completely with a two up on Cuba? It's like it's not that good. It's like um, you get an average of. 0.83, I think it is. Let me, let me look it up here. Uh, you get, you get an average of 0.86 so I think overprotecting France, just putting one in France here is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I really like the one France, one Israel. Because Israel, I mean, we're at risk of getting kicked out completely. I mean, I know Camp David is yet to be seen, but still. Yeah, we're the Middle East, Middle East scoring is gone. I don't think we're at risk of that happening. I mean, it really. helps for later. I just don't. I just don't see what else we can do. I mean, we can go to Mexico. I yeah, just, Mexico's I really... good. All right, do you want to go to Mexico then? Kind of want to go one France. I I absolutely hate putting one in Mexico. <laughs> well, just um, just use a one up to put one in France and call it good. I really hate. I really want to event the Sadat, man. Because, I, I mean, for later on, are you, are you wanting to put three in Egypt, assuming Camp David breaks it? I I mean, Sadat might not come out for a long time. So Middle East is definitely going to become unscored before Sadat comes back. Well, I mean, there's a good chance of that. A 50-50 chance. Yeah. I I really, I mean, at that point, what are, are we going to do an ops race in Egypt? I, I really want to just event it now and get it out of the way. All right, go ahead and event it then. Well, I, I, I mean, I'd rather get it going to Israel first, in case they have Muslim. I just think Israel is a lot of utility for us. I, it's, it's just I mean, putting all these ops into a region that's going to be scored for such a long time. Oh, yeah, but what other regions can we put ops in that aren't the case? We need, right? I mean, we need, <laughs> one, we need one in France and two in Mexico, and then we're going to have one more op to put somewhere else. Yeah, so, okay, so how about, let's this, let's save cultural for two Mexico... Um, do you want to just I, I, do you want to just event the Sadat now and risk them having Muslim? I'd rather play it for one op, but we're running out of time. So if you want to, yeah, I, I, then... I, I, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Do you want to go one France with Sadat? Yeah. Okay. All right, now do you want to go to Mexico with cultural? Yeah, that's fine. I guess we could use the last stop to realign Cuba. I 
Ghost Long Gremlin. Are you fucking kidding me? I kind of still um, like the realign Cuba. Yeah. Okay, realign Cuba. Yeah, that, it gives us an average of .86 ops to do that, but... Okay, well this is an incredible hand. Wow. Oh, I, I love I love Salt, because then we will bury you and then play you in the next action round and cancel it out. I think we headline Salt for sure. You don't like Boys yeah, of America? Yeah, but then I, I'd love to play that we will bury you for the for the event, then play UN later. Do, do you see what I'm saying? This dude this isn't much good to pick up. I mean, we could pick up Brush, and Brush is good, but we don't have good targets for it. We could try to hit Thailand, but that's risky. <laughs> Algeria isn't a bad target for brush war. Yeah, so can I lock in the salt negotiations headline though? I kind of like Voice of America, but we are running out of time. I mean, I guess I could see salt also. Yeah, I just don't think. I mean, what would Voice hit? I mean, North Korea. Cuba, I just don't Cuba. think. But, well, the problem is, what does our hand look like? Because then we have problems if we will bury, bury you in Muslims. So I think salt just alleviates a lot of that pressure. Uh, yeah, okay, Salt, yeah, okay, go ahead. Okay, they're gonna pick up nothing, which is good, the Cambridge Five. Um, Brush or Red Scare Purge? I kinda like Brush. Yeah, I kinda like Brush. Okay, I'm just trying to go quickly because of the time issue. Right. <clears throat> like we will bury you actually if they don't drop defcon to drop the defcon one step and then coup thailand or i guess it actually doesn't matter we get the thailand coup regardless yeah yeah uh, i think cooing thailand with we will bury you makes a lot of sense even though africa scoring is gone Algeria is still a pretty good target for brush war. Although we could just wait on the brush war. And, um, I mean, destalinization is still unseen here. So we might end yeah. up getting to use brush war on South America. If they destall into South America. Okay, so that practically... Ooh, actually, if, ah, that's annoying. Now we can't give up the We Will Bury You because we don't get to get rid of it with UN. I, I guess we give up Muslim here. <laughs> Wait, why not give up the We Will Bury You to this? It gives up three VPs. I mean, do you want to give up three VPs? Oh, right, because we can't play the UN Intervention and the Missile Envy on the same turn. I see what you're saying. I hate huh. giving up VPs like that. Yeah, I guess, uh, okay, I see what you're saying. I mean, I guess Muslim Revolution, we're giving up four ops, and that's greater than one VP to one op, so I guess We Will Bury You is the way to go. I guess give up We Will Bury You? Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, there is a big problem here, which is if the DEFCON drops, it's at four now, they drop the DEF. Well, so I think cooing Vietnam is the play, because then it makes the brush war in Thailand better, right? If they drop the DEFCON, then we have an easy rush war on Thailand. If they counter coup Vietnam, then we just coup Thailand with Muslim Revolution UN, right? So I think cooing Vietnam makes a lot of sense here, right? Okay, go ahead. Can you click on the five really quick? Okay, I got them all. Oh, 
Probably going for Vietnam here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, then now do we coup Thailand? Voice of America is another good option here. We could go Voice of America and do two Cuba and two Thailand. I don't like that because then I think they still coup Vietnam. I I think we coup Vietnam now. I think that's the or coup Thailand. I think that's the most aggressive and best path forward. Uh, okay, go for it. Ah. Oh. He's critical. Well, I mean, we got good luck on coups earlier, so I can't complain too much. I mean, now it's just a very easy Laos, Cambodia, Thailand. If they don't put one into Cuba, then the Voice of America still gets pretty good value. I, I still like the real lines on Cuba, though. I mean, why... I feel like voice is better spent attacking Asia. Asia, I mean, Asia is higher value than Central America, regardless. They save voice too, because it's preventing their destell. I yeah, mean, they don't know what's good against but it's destell. Perfect destell prevention. We could hold the voice of America, I guess, um, and space yeah, I think South it's African under yeah. us. I think, yeah, I think the strongest way to use VOA is to hold it right now. Yeah, I'm cool with holding it. So I think cooing Saharan states is obvious here, right? Huh. Or we could just put ops into Cuba. I... I mean, we could also put ops in Mexico and risk the coup, but I don't see a need for that right now. Africa scoring's already gone. And it's not like they can take Nigeria anyway. I mean, if they if they step into Nigeria, we could just coup that instead. I don't really like the Saharan states coup here. I kind of like just putting two into Cuba here. Uh, you want to put two in Cuba? Yeah. All right, lock it in. Yeah, I like that. Cool. Yeah, but we are way behind on time too. All right, what now? Just two more into Cuba, I think. Okay. You want to put two in Taiwan for the promotion? That doesn't give us... Uh... Wait. Two into Taiwan? Yeah. Why Taiwan? You, you just want to play promotion and not fight for Asia Dom? The Formosian, you you mean you want to event the Formosian resolution? Yeah. Oh no, I don't like that at all. Okay. So just even if we Taiwan. even if we evented it and took Taiwan, we still wouldn't have Asia Dom because of the country count. Yeah. Okay. So you just want to put two Cuba then? Yeah, that looks pretty good. to play either Brush War or Voice America by the end of the turn here. Saharan States makes the Brush in Algeria pretty bad, so we have to... Now we have to think very hard about cooing Saharan States. Unless we want to play VOA, but I'd rather we hold it. 
Actually, now they're yeah. The rest of our action rounds are basically committed. Now we have to space this. Um, if we only have one free action round left, that's what we do at the one small step. Yeah, I like if we can space on this AR, that's pretty good. I guess Thailand is still kind of a good target for Brush War, even with the Southeast Asia scoring gone. Okay, space now? Yeah. To Nigeria, I guess. It's giving up Panama, but can't do much about that. All right, so coup Nigeria. Uh, okay. Playing Voice of America at the end and taking two out of Thailand to bust it open. We could go like two Thailand and two, or we could just brush war Thailand as another option. Yeah, I think at this point I like holding the brush war, but I do like to play two Thailand and maybe two North Korea. That busts open Asia. I think it actually gives us Asia Dom, doesn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. No, it doesn't, but still it pretty much breaks it open. Well, you could go two Thailand, one North Korea, one South Korea. So, VOA or Brush? I kind of like VOA. Okay. So, there is merit to brushing, and it's that D-style is still, you know, prevented. Yeah, I'm cool with I'm cool with brushing too. Uh, whatever you want to do, we're we're still way behind on time, so whatever you want to do. We're not under purge. We can also jam North Korea. It gives us Asia domination if you take two from Thailand and one from North Korea and one from South Korea. Okay. Or I, mean, I, guess I, I like that. Okay. All right. This is this is fine. We do not get the Asia scoring, unfortunately. This, this is that actually a pretty bad hand for what we just did. Grain, this grain, <laughs> grain is, is actually good. not that useful for us. Grain headline, right? Yeah, grain headline is good. And shuttle is also very good for us. Shuttle makes it, I mean, yeah, I guess just grain, why not? Yeah, grain is good. I kind of like just grain place influence into like Thailand or something. Oh yeah, Thailand is great. If they headline um, ABM, it gets very annoying though. ABM is a perfect counter for what we just did. Whoa, dude, if we get Junta, oh my God. Junta, Junta, Junta. Well, they're not gonna have Junta. <laughs> There's zero chance they have Junta there. Uh, all right, do you wanna just put three in Thailand? Yeah. Go, all right. They definitely don't have Hoot Ducks, they would have headlined it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sure.
Alright, so now I kind of like Cuban Missile Crisis. Um, two Afghanistan, and then one Cuba. Well, DEFCON's still at three. Right, but what, I mean, what coup target? I mean, we get Asia domination back. I think we have to fight for it here. Yeah, I guess that's true. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, yeah. I, I see, what you're, see what you're saying. It's not, yeah, it's not like they have a great coup target here anyway. Panama's a good brush war target. Yeah, Panama's an incredible brush war target. I mean, so is Algeria, because we're actually threatening the Africa control here, because we can just walk up to Zaire once the DEFCON drops to two. Yeah, also the next space roll is pretty big here. Um... Here's the coup, probably Nigeria. Oh, shoot. Well, now I think we have to fight for Nigeria, right? So, do you want to coup Saharan? Uh, okay. I like cooing to Heron. Yeah, that sounds fine. Or wait a minute, wait a minute. Just do. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> this this, this is good. This is good. Yeah, this is good. Can we we can OAS yeah. into Chile. Oh. It's really annoying how we got three cracks in that space, but they still got it first. Um, we could brush war here. Yeah, I like brush war in Panama here. Yeah. Do you want to do, do that? that? Yeah, let's do that. And there isn't a rush, we could go, well, they don't have liberation, because they would have invented it by now, I think, right? Um, yeah, I mean, Algeria is juicy also, but I just want to go for Panama. Thumb scored. Yeah, I like yeah, Panama. Panama right? Try and go for the control now, and also walk up Africa. All right, cool. <laughs> Some nice points. So now... Alright, so now I kind of want to go Algeria for sure, so we gotta go up there. Um, do you want to put some more in Asia to could block the country count? Like really fight just, for the country count? What about just spacing right here? Yeah, spacing also works. Is there a rush on anything? I don't think there's a rush on anything, so yeah, do you just want to space PEC? Yeah. Oh wow, fourth failure on that, that's annoying. <laughs> yeah, we're I get Europe back on too. that space box. I guess we could just um Hmm, yeah, it's kind of tough what to do with the rest of our ops here. There's been a huge disparity in scorecards here. It's one, two, three, four, five, five to one, six to one, seven to one, seven to one. I mean, should we should we event the OAS here or hold it? I mean, if we if we event the OAS and hold Willy, then we're gonna. I feel have like to... there's a lot of stuff we got to do. Um, we got to get Europe back. We got to get Mexico because liberation's coming. I mean, it's not its not like we have to do it, but it's good to do it. Thailand is pretty weak here. They can jam it. So Thailand has to be overprotected because if they get ABM, they can jam it and then flip it. But I think Thailand is a must. Yeah. I kind of I kind of want to event the OAS. I mean, we haven't seen Allende yet. We haven't seen Junta yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good, good. Kind of want to beat him into point. South America. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Um, could go Angola, Panama, and uh, Thailand here. Okay. Could also go Colombia. No, I don't like I Colombia. Angola. I think Angola is better. Yeah, Alright, does this, this look good. good? Yeah, this is good, yeah. I guess we don't, well, I mean, I guess we don't have to play OAS. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have to play it.
Maybe it is better not to play the OAS this turn. Junta... Junta's coming up. If they get Junta for... I mean, we could headline it. And headline it into the Junta. Which is risky. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like headlining the OAS when the DEFCON is at 3, because they could just coo, like... Yeah, but, I mean, if they have Junta, then it's whatever, right? <laughs> Junta or Ayende, it's only a 25% chance to get neither Junta or Ayende. You know, I, mean, I mean, if we invented the button. OAS and then you shuttle to go like Zaire and then spread out in South America. Okay, so this is, we can't OAS now. We have to keep fighting for Asia. Uh, do you want to just actually, I think we just have to flip Laos, Cambodia back, right? Uh, okay. I mean, you see either Laos, Cambodia, or Vietnam. I guess they're both the same, right? It's just... Yeah, Laos, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Today, Asia, we're about to find out. Ooh. Okay, this gets interesting. Um. Well, so if we pick up Asia, it's a disaster here. Yeah. Just toss just the willy. I think. Willing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> there you go, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's interesting. Um, wow. That's a nice pickup. <laughs> yeah, um, so now I kind of want to play the China card. So OAS and, AM, and ABM are both great for us to hold. And it, it, Nixon is yet to come out. So if they draw Nixon, it's a very annoying draw. But I like playing China card here. What do you think? Or we could just play ABM for ops. Uh, I think it's more useful next turn. If yeah, they queue yeah, us, we can is. go back in Africa. So here's what I'm thinking, okay, just to okay. illustrate it. And then the country count permanently hours in Asia. We can even do that. <laughs> um, Three, four, five, six, seven. And then we have eight. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, go ahead and lock that in. Right, so they have the junta. We have the Allende. Do we headline OAS? Knowing that they have the junta and they're gonna headline it. Okay. I mean so if they headline I mean can we we can just drop Asia in the headline and try and get it out. Is there any risk there? Uh, well, let's see. Their hand is Kitchen Debates, Nixon, Arman, and Tehran, Alliance for Progress. Or did that get played already? Alliance. Alliance is removed. Okay, yeah. Destalinization, Junta, Arms Race, and three other cards. Yeah, I guess, actually, Asia does kind of make a lot of sense, huh? Yeah, Destal can't block Asia. Is there yeah. anything that can block Asia that they have? We have ABM. They could have drawn Brush War. Could have drawn. Um, decal. Actually, decal doesn't, right? Oh yeah, One, maybe two, three, not. Four, five, I, I mean, they'd have they'd have to headline decal and then use China card to flip Thailand. Yeah, so I think just headline Asia, right? Yeah, that's fine with me. I think. Gotta get Europe back. I mean, there's a lot of stuff we have to do. We have to get Mexico. Oh, D style. Alright, D style before Junta makes sense. Get Zaire. That's annoying. We didn't get it first. A lot of, a lot of mistakes. Just careless mistakes by us.
Yeah, it probably would have been better to put one more in Thailand, but they don't. That they doesn't, they didn't have that in the decal, so they're it's not okay. For Thailand. Here comes Junta. No, not Junta. Okay, so this gets really annoying now. Do we have to go back in Angola? Or do we ABM now into South America? I think we have to go into Angola. And then no, Angola, I don't you're... think so. I don't think we have to go to Angola here. I think we should go like uh, OAS into um, Brazil and Chile. Argentina, because then they don't fill any countries with the brush. They don't fill Argentina with the uh, Junta. Okay, we got Brazil, Brazil and Argentina. I'm cool with that. Yeah. I mean, I'm really scared of Africa here. If they get the Angola, it's very annoying. And it, it's actually the difference between flipping the region. Because if we get Angola and then we use ABM and Zaire, Af Africa Dom for us versus their Africa Dom. That's worth more than fighting in South America, right? Or, I mean, we can just OAS now. Do that. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Okay. Gotta do something about Europe that's not been dominated for the longest time. Yeah, we're gonna have to spend a lot of ops fighting for South America and Africa. I mean, it's just, it's just one op in Europe though for it to get the domination back. Yeah, we can worry about that later okay, whoa china card yep they take angola for sure okay so i think that we go uruguay seems like a very important country to me because they're gonna try to go for realign threats here is their plan yeah let's go uh one argentina two brazil and one uruguay yeah i like that Yeah, I like that too. Really dislike how we're fighting in Africa though. That was just very careless to give them that many countries. I feel like that was very unforced. Another way we could have played it was to use ABM to coup Zaire, but then we lose big in South America. Yeah. they do take Uruguay here we have to take Paraguay so we don't get completely surrounded in Argentina I yeah, definitely want to event the Panama Canal returned also okay so here's the junta uh... all right so this is obvious right um do we just go to Argentina one Uruguay again or we could go to Argentina to Uruguay with ABM I think ABM's much better used as an event in Africa. I think we need African battlegrounds right now, so I, I think we got to save the ABM. Yeah. Okay. This is fine. Weird. They fought for Chile over Argentina because we have Allende. I feel like that was kind of a mistake by them. Yeah, I don't think they should have taken Chile like that either.
at the board is generally very favorable to us. Like, I think we're up battlegrounds across the entire board. Okay, so now... Do we think about ABMing Angola or Zaire now? What about just taking Uruguay with one more up? Okay, yeah, that, I like I like that a lot. <laughs> All right, do this. Yeah, I like that. Also, we want a space liberation. Venezuela to me looks very weak. And Panama Canal AR7 looks like a great play. Yeah, we could do that. We gotta, we gotta get Europe though. I keep saying it. So we gotta get Europe. <laughs> Europe is critically important for us to take back. Holding either ABM or Panama is all right. Yeah, we're, we're under big time pressure also. Just gonna space that. Wow. Okay. Do you want to space here? Yeah. I like ABMing now. Uh, next action round. ABM. Oh, actually, hold up. We could save the ABM. Well, we still so have like two mill ops from somewhere. Yeah, mill ops are a big, big problem. Um, okay, ABM now then. Okay. Angola? Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be ours for a while. <laughs> we could play Bryce like at the end here and hold on. Panama. No, 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 no. I, we save Bresno because Bresno is a pretty good card for us. I think Panama gives us a domination in South, so I think that's the best AR7 play available to us right now. Nuke subs would be a dream for us also. Gonna tap Brazil maybe? Oh, no. Okay. So Panama, I, I really think Panama is the play now. For and sure. We have, to, we, can't leave, we have to leave Europe undominated if we do it that way. I, right. No, Actually, we could, ooh, we could, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. We could yeah, use Brezhnev to just poke Venezuela here. Yeah, like that. I like that a lot. That's a really good idea. We could also go to Mexico to get the control in Central. I like this. I think this is good. Okay, because they have no, because they play D style here, right? Yeah, they have no way of getting into Mexico, right? Right. They don't. They don't have any way to get up there now. Yeah. Okay. This is good. This is good. I like this. Right. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Nuclear subs, right? I mean, that's like a dream. <laughs> oh, yeah, we could do that, yeah. We have China cards, so Long Gunman's not really scary. So, nuclear subs? Um... Okay, okay. His nuclear subs does compromise our last action round play. Because now they're just going to fill Venezuela. Yeah, we don't really have any other good headlines, though. Right. Could have headlined the Pope. And then followed it by EEU, but Europe's pretty solid right now. Falling back the clock a little bit. Well, if they fill Venezuela, we can get rid of Lone Gunman event. Oh, great point. Great point, yeah. yeah. 
They have Kitchen Debates and Nixon in their hand, uh, so we know two of them. Kitchen is active, only. I think. We're What's up that? two, we're up three, up one, up two, up three, four. Yeah, we're up four battlegrounds, so Kitchen's been active for a while. Okay. Yeah, if we could get rid of the lone gunman at the beginning of this turn, that would be great. It's another advantage of nuclear subs, I guess, is it incentivizes them not to coup. You can just get rid of the lone gunman. Yeah, it's just just none of our other headlines are really any good. We don't don't really have any particularly good ones. Hot Cubs, wow. Whoa. That's interesting. Oh, so they're gonna lower the DEF CON with that card. I see. Country count gets very annoying now. Alright, I guess we'll just have to take West Germany. I'm thinking about other stuff. EEU is actually very annoying, so they're trying to fight us on country count. So EEU becomes a great card for us. Um, I mean, I want to keep trying to fight. So they don't have Europe scoring. If they had Europe scoring, they'd tap one West Germany, two France, and drop it for domination. So they don't have Europe scoring. So we don't have to worry about Europe scoring. Gotta just take West Germany with a something like. I mean, um, yeah, I think we definitely have to take. Well, so the issue is they're just gonna tap West Germany again. I feel like, right? <laughs> that's their plan here. They're gonna try to harass us from getting the the coups off by jamming Europe. Yeah, but if they want to keep tapping it, that's just wasting ops. I mean, I'm cool with that if they want to keep wasting ops. They're gonna on tap that. other stuff. I mean, this this well, to me could, seems like the best opportunity they... to be to they can tap whatever they want, but I mean, if yeah. they just keep tapping stuff, that's just as good as getting the coups off anyway. They have to I mean, pay they're going to start tapping and... south, and I, I, I mean, I really like cooing here, man, because I don't see how is the board going to change if we just fill up West Germany here. Like it's going to get we gotta, worse. We got to lock up West Germany and then coup, so we don't get into no. a big ops war in West Germany. Because if we get into a big ops war in West Germany, it's going to nullify our nuclear subs advantage. We need to lock up the West Germany first while we can with a two op and then coup. Well, here's the problem. I mean, Europe's not dominating for us regardless. So, oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, so do you want to even overprotect it? I'd rather over protect Argentina or put one in South Africa rather overprotect Panama actually because I'd rather we go for the control in Central we're losing South we're losing South 100% this turn <laughs> um, they're gonna tap Brazil they're gonna tap Argentina and I don't want to spend the whole turn defending that why it's great they have to spend more ops than we do to tap than they have to spend more ops to tap than we do to refill it that's if they spent the but whole turn tapping that's fine. It's it's fine if we don't get the coups in as long as they have to keep wasting ops to tap the entire turn. Uh, we, we definitely want the coups in. We want Nigeria, Zaire. Those are super valuable countries. If they have to keep tapping the entire turn, it's just going to waste all their ops. So we have one... Going, so going to two, two West Germany and one Argentina makes a lot of sense. That stops the Iron no, Lady no, event no, also. Definitely not Argentina. Definitely not. Panama is much more valuable than Argentina or Brazil because we can fight for the control if we keep Panama. Nah, Argentina is better than Panama because of the Iron Lady event. It's a good point, actually. It doesn't make any sense to overprotect okay. Panama here. Yeah, Specifically for the Iron Lady. Okay, Lock that fine. in. Okay, we'll do it. Can you put Lone Gunman on the right side? Thanks. 
gonna have to give up the OPEC event, I suppose. We probably should just, um, should just give up the OPEC as soon as possible, I suppose. Okay, amazing that failed. Now OPEC is, we can very much give that up. So coup with uh, the Pope now in Africa, do you think? Or you could, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Zaire. I think is our play. So Zaire? Zaire, yeah. Okay, good. It's making progress. Board looks really bad for them now. Like they're they're not dominating any regions. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'd have been surprised they're not inventing that. Okay, so they're that's how they're gonna do it. I think just cooling Nigeria looks pretty good here. With Panama. Um. We yeah, can also okay. give up the South African unrest and just take South Africa. You want to do that? Uh, I think I would rather give up OPEC. I want to save OPEC because they could play Middle East and have war games, so we got to yeah, save that's... the OPEC for now. Well, we can only hold lone gunmen, and that's the only card we oh, get to. We hold. have China card too. I just, I really do not want to play OPEC now, and we're in, we're in big time pressure, so. I, we can't play China card and hold on gunmen. That's yeah, gonna death con us. Oh, yeah, I, I see what you're saying, but yeah. <laughs> um, we could give up the Quagmire. I, I don't think that's a good play, but it's No, I like spacing Quag and... We gotta, we gotta space Quag and give up OPEC. I, I really cannot see us giving up OPEC, because then we're in war games territory, like serious war games territory. It's, it's, our, it's not easy for us right now to get points. I mean, if you want to give up the quag, all right, but I don't think that makes very much sense. I mean, I guess we could. I think it makes more sense to give up OPEC. I mean, or I guess we could space OPEC. OPEC and, or, yeah, space OPEC and uh, give up South African unrest, I suppose. Let's just give up the South African unrest now. It's not a big commitment for us. All right, go for it. We're not committing to anything. So just two South Africa with the South African unrest. Oh, I was going to say coup Nigeria with it. Uh, I mean, uh, if we're going to coup Nigeria, I'd like doing it with Panama. Okay, go for that then. Nice. For once, for once, we get good coup rolls with, uh, with, with subs. I feel like I never get good coup rolls whenever I get subs off. I guess I'm okay with just spacing the OPEC and letting South Africa and Rest go off. Oh, nice, Reagan. Oh, well, that's worth nothing. Okay, oh, so... Wait a minute. Wait, we we have to... Yeah, we have to... Hold Lone Gunman and Space Quagmire and let both of those go off. That's what it was. Okay, that's, what, that's what I'm trying to... That's what I thought. Yeah, we have to let both those events go off. OPEC and South Africa. Do you want to just get rid of the Quag now? This seems like a good time to do it, man. You mean the I, I really want to give off the, the event go off. If we're going to give it off, then not, the time to decide is now. I'm not I, saying I think either we way, should, but the time I think to we should space now. Quag and let OPEC and South African unrest both go off. It's three points, man. It gets them to five. That's so scary. Quagmire event's going to be worse than giving up three points. What, what what could they do with it that would be bad? Like they could take Brazil. We can, so we overprotect Brazil. We overprotect Panama. Yeah, you can't then, uh, overprotect everything though. I mean, West Germany. They could take that. They could take. Uh, and they could flip Libya, but they already have the Middle East. And we overprotect West Germany. We already. I mean, Panama, Brazil, West Germany looks pretty good to me. That with the quag. You can't do anything in Asia. Asia is very locked down. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could do it like that. Yeah, I just, I can't see us giving up OPEC, man. It's so bad. All right, just go ahead and lock it in then.
Glasnost coup, Uruguay? Okay, that's bad. I'm OPEC, give up. Alright. Okay, we get out of it, fortunately. Okay, then they have to take Uruguay. It's pretty dicey still. Pretty dicey still. We already succeeded on our goals with the, uh, with the Panama, or with the... Okay, so now we coup Uruguay with Iran-Contra. With South African, what do you think? We gotta now? play South African unrest first. Okay, South African event first. Yeah, just event. Let the event go off. Yeah. I'm I'm just trying to go really quickly because we have 16 minutes for two turns. We're a little behind pace. Oh, they're not going to South Africa. Okay, so now coup Uruguay. All right. Yes. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. Even if they get Middle East, it only puts them at five. They have to, at some point, they have to give up the uh, the kitchen debates. Yeah, they're so far behind, dude. Yeah, they're kitchen so debates behind. and Nixon is their last two cards. Oh no, wait, I guess they played Nixon already. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so just coup Uruguay again, or we can also go Mexico. Uh, yeah, you can coup Uruguay again, that's fine. Okay. And we can coup Uruguay era one next turn. The, I mean, we have to respond if they have a bad headline. Kind of like Mexico more, man. Get the control. Alright. And we, we can do stuff era one next turn. Oh, this is some good stuff. This is some really good stuff, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is some good stuff. We can all drink Ames away, Lone Gunman. Dude, this is good. We can one small step for the VPs. This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. I, I like one small step headline here. Vent Sadat. Dude, this is one of the best hands that we could have possibly gotten. I like one small step, but what do you think? There's also um, Meredith to die. I think, I think it's gotta be one small step. Alright. So huge. That's really huge. Dude, I think we're gonna win this. <laughs> I think we have a legit shot at winning this, assuming something terrible doesn't happen. Alright, so we give them Cuban Missile, right? It's yeah. gotta be Cuban, Cuban Missile. Sense. You can just remove from West Germany easily. Okay, so now they do get their real lines in, which is scary. Alright, let's try and hold this. Oh! Nice, nice, nice. So now do we coup with missile and remove from Germany? Uh, it probably makes more sense to just take Paraguay. Well, Brazil. Protects Brazil. I think I like taking Actually, Paraguay better. It's really not that great of a realign on Brazil. Okay, and then we can event brush on Venezuela, right? Is your plan? Yeah, yeah. Okay, take Paraguay. Yeah, this is good. Lock okay. Okay. Yeah, like that. Like that. Like that in. What if they coup and succeed on Paraguay? Then we're in a disastrous spot. Cooing is. What if, they... what, what if they just take Paraguay? If we don't take it, then they can take it. It's it's more efficient to place ops into it than it is to coup it. Okay. You could have the Iron Lady event. That's the counter argument, too. Yeah, we can't protect against everything. 
a good yeah and it, yeah we can't yeah we couldn't have protected against that regardless so so now brush for venezuela right yeah that sounds good nice <laughs> nice 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 dude i think we're winning this game <laughs> cautiously optimistic can't play china card all right so now Europe's do you want to dump europe yeah Vent the Sadat soon, too. Yeah. And Space Pershing. Yeah, Vent the Sadat now. Yeah. Dude, I think we're winning this game. <laughs> They're, they have nothing now. Terrorism is a big threat, um, Cuba, but it's very scary. Okay, so now colonial rear guards, right? They get um, just space, thing. space first, right? Well, the advantage is we get the adjacency first, so they can't flip Nigeria. All right, all right, you can do it that way, yeah. Kind of like this. Do you agree with it? I don't like the last one. Well, we got to get a non-battleground. Do you want to go Zimbabwe? Yeah, that would be better. Okay. Or Cameroon. This is fine. No, yeah, we need Zimbabwe. Nice, there's the kitchen. Dude, I think we're winning this game easily now. Alright, so space purging now, right? Yeah. Yo, oh my god. Yeah, this is incredible. <laughs> we can't use that, unfortunately. We can't use that ability. On our last turn here, we could um, poke Argentina. Oh, wow, AWAX also. Yeah, so they're gonna go Lebanon. Yeah, we could go Argentina oh. here. Three to two. Um, yeah, let's go Argentina. Okay. And then one Israel? One more Argentina. No, I don't think one Argentina does anything for us, man. Yeah, it's it's think... better for real lines if we've got one more oh, okay. in there. There's, there's no better okay. spot to put it than that. This is a disaster for them. Uh, they're they're in really bad shape now. Yeah, getting Aldrich was very good. Jack Cuban did nothing. Oh, here we go. <laughs> nice playing with you, Kevin. <laughs> oh, I got uh, grain just, sales, huh? Yeah, That's just good. grain sales headline, right? I mean, is there a, so Junta is in the discard. Rush War and ABM in the discard. Is there anything they could do to stop South America scoring? Um, Don't think there is, right? Just headline South. See. They've got Latin American debt crisis. We could just throw the Che off on that. Yeah. Cambridge 5. Cambridge 5 is not active. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it then. I mean, Latin American death squads and then cooing it. Um, oh, yeah, I see that. Uh... Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, of course, see. That. We could get Middle East domination on this turn. Yeah, for sure. 
Yeah, this, this game is practically over. What's the next space box again? Uh, Four points. Okay, that yeah, that's pretty. That's good. And we can hold D call. Oh, okay, central. Okay, so just play NORAD, take Argentina, and then I don't think it really matters now. South Africa, maybe? Or Ivory Coast. I like Ivory Coast more. Does that look good? Uh, okay, yeah. I mean, they have nothing. Like, I mean, I guess we could have gotten Israel. So we have Middle East scoring. Uh, Central. Okay, so... Chuck the grain now. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, just go They don't Israel. have any depth on Just go right? Israel so just, with it, I guess. Okay, just place Israel. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, gone. Yeah, I should. We should have headlined that, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're gonna be all right either way. I, I mean, we can just spend the rest of the turn racing them. We, I play China card now because we have to play China card because of the terrorism. So play China card now into Israel. Oh, uh, okay. Actually, hmm, yeah, okay, Africa scoring. Promotion now is basically a game winner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, South good. Africa. that's good. Doesn't, doesn't really matter that much what we do now. Yeah, Middle East ends the game. Yeah, good game. Wow, <laughs> crazy, crazy game. Wow, dude, we got third place in this tournament. That's awesome. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Damn. We got really lucky. Like, there's no doubt we got lucky this game. Um, the power cards favored us pretty heavily. They just had, they had a lot of turns where they had bad hands. Like, yeah. Yeah. Man. All right. All right. I like it. That's a very blue board at the end of the game. <laughs> That's a very blue board. Hope that stream didn't go too badly. I'm on the backup connection. Actually, I forgot about that. I forgot to... The stream might not have worked too good on the backup connection. Uh, I better try to switch back over. Uh, this might disconnect me. Hold on a sec. I'm just going to shut the stream off, actually, before I do this.